If your computer is running a little bit slow, then a great way to speed things up is to replace your old hard drive with an SSD. So today, I'm going to teach you guys how to do that without losing any of your data. So the first step is to buy an SSD, then a cable that looks like this. It should have a SATA power connector on one side and then one or two USBs on the other. Plug your new SSD into your computer with this cable. Next, download this piece of software that's free and in the description. This software clones your hard drive bit for bit and transfers that data over to another disk. So go through the process that I'm going through right now, choose your source as your Windows drive, make sure you just click on the drive as a whole and not just your C drive. Next, choose the SSD as the place you want the files to be copied to, choose optimize for SSD, now just let the software run. This will probably take anywhere from 30 minutes to a few hours, depending on the size of your drive and how slow it is. After that's all done, go ahead and shut down your computer and start taking it apart. I was doing this on a desktop, but the software part works all the same for a laptop. Now all desktops are made pretty standard, so it's all the same for taking them apart and it's usually pretty easy. Laptops however are a little bit more fiddly. There are millions of YouTube videos on teardowns of laptops. Most of the time you should be able to figure it out, but if yours is particularly tricky, just search teardown plus the model of your computer in YouTube. Most of the time, something will pop up. If it's not yours, it'll be a similar model. So once you see the hard drive, take it out and put the SSD in and make sure it's oriented this way the connection is made properly. Then just start putting the computer back together. When you launch your computer, it might take a little bit longer because it has to rebuild the caches and things, but you basically should be able to pick up right where you left off. I would recommend restarting a few times, just have the caches and defaults rebuild themselves, but it isn't really necessary. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing. My name is Akil Mohadeen, and I will see you guys later.